But first, we have to endure another match. Chris Stadlander. She's going to be fighting the, the giant monetary flop known as Mercedes Moan at full gear. So what do they do? They put her in the ring with another baby face and have her go 10 competitive minutes. Oh, come on. The post-match made it all worth it. All right, well, then, she beat Hikaru Shida by the hair of her chinny-chin-chin. Chin. I guess they, we shouldn't say that about the women. By the way, Hikaru Shida's terrible. I know because well, she was yeah, there in I, the early days, and she was like... I wasn't defending her. Friends with Kenny. Like, people would have been like, oh, she's really good. She's terrible in the ring. She's terrible. But anyway, go ahead. If it also, again, Statlander took 10 minutes to win, and then they shook hands... So it's like kissing your sister, although if she had kissed Sheeta, it might, might be more interesting, but then again, that would be infringing on Maria May and Mitsu Arakawa's gimmick. It's like kissing your sister if she was dressed like a hostess at the Pancake House. <laughs> I don't know what to t- <laughs> ah, But anyway... She should come to the ring with a menu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was Arn Anderson's gimmick, remember? No. The Waffle House menu is Coach of Cody. But nevertheless, so the match is over, they shake hands, and then here comes Mercedes and Camille. And Mercedes does the stripper shimmy, and there is no reaction whatsoever to this woman or now these people. Camille is out there with her arm in a sling. She's dressed like a normal person. She has a look on her face like she has realized that (laughs) abandon... All hope ye who enter into Tony Khan's river sticks of booking. They've somehow booked her into being the most sympathetic heel since George the Animal Steel. Well, no, actually, I'm starting not to feel sorry for her because even with one arm, she could kick the shit out of this skinny little bitch that she's pushing her around. Oh, my God. Every week. What did I say? Every week. She hurts her arm and yells, ow. Yes. Ow. <laughs> ow. So... Mercedes does a promo on Statlander and the fans, and by the way, TBS is not like USA Network. They're not even making an attempt to believe it. The fans, and not in the way of like you're a really hot heel, but in the way of, oh, please stop doing what you're doing, are chanting, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And then Mercedes, when she's done with the promo on Statlander, she tells Camille, oh, she pissed me off. Go beat her up. She got her arm in a fucking sling, right? And, and <laughs> go beat her up. And Camille's like, well, I can't do it. I, why, have we established why? That what employment agreement did Mercedes make with Camille that indicates that if Mercedes says, step in front of that fucking Volkswagen, and Camille's got to goddamn get fucking beetled. What? So she's starting into the ring reluctantly now. And so now we can officially say, now Camille is dead. Ask for a release before this kills your after AEW career. I don't know how much they're paying you, but good God. She gets in the ring like a whipped puppy. She looks at both of the baby faces and then, and by the way, there's two baby faces. Sheeta's still in there. Sheeta, just because Sheeta and Statlander kicked the shit out of each other for 10 minutes doesn't mean that anybody, there's any hard feelings. So now this heel with one arm <laughs> gets in a ring with two able-bodied baby faces. Oh. Oh. Oh, I, need, I need oxygen. <laughs> and, and she swings with her good arm at Statlander, and Statlander blocks it and nails her, and Sheeta roundhouse kicks her in the head. And then Statlander thinks it's going to be a good idea to throw her out of the ring. She's only got one arm, and it's the right one. She can't catch the rope right. She has to catch the rope with her right hand and flip over, and she lands on the, the bad arm, and then she sells it. And then as she goes down on the floor, Sheeta... The baby face gets on the floor and starts kicking the injured heel while she's down. And when she when she throws the kick at her, she falls down doing it accidentally. And then while Stadlander is looking at her other baby face friend kicking the shit out of this poor injured girl, 
Mercedes tries to jump on Statlander's back and and, and like she was going to do the backstabber thing, but uh, Statlander's so powerful, she was going to stand up and turn it into, pull her over and turn it into a tombstone. But Mercedes had, had three tries to jump up on her fucking back, catching her by surprise each time. And then she turned... <laughs> She went, oh, I can't believe this girl's jumping on my, oh, she's off. Oh, I can't believe she's jumping on my, oh, she's off. Oh, I can't believe she's jumping. And then she turned it into the tombstone pile driver and left Mercedes laying there. And there's Camille. who had the shit kicked out of her on the floor. F uh, the heat. My God, it, it was killing heat, scalding heat, boiling heat. But for, and again, the Camille went from being at a, a striking, large, a, attractive, intriguing bodyguard type of possibility to give some kind of muscle and personality to this total, complete loss, Mercedes, and now and she's just any flunky in two months. <sighs> it's puzzling. But again, this is Mercedes Monet writing her own stuff with her own people. I forgot about Alexander Pepperday. And then working with the booking genius of Tony Khan on everything to make sure it all works together just right. No, I really want to see if uh, Statlander can get her hands on these two at the pay-per-view. Well, I'm, I'm afraid if she does, she'll go to prison this time. Is Camille being hazed? Did she do something <laughs> to someone? I'm serious, like... The booking of Camille is puzzling. It doesn't make any sense. You know what? It, it is like the old days when there was a sudden change in the booker at a territory and somebody that was like in the middle of a eight-week mega push all of a sudden is doing a tag team match with a job guy as a partner on TV the next week. I, I don't know.